couldn't really answer that. I mean, I, I something original in me. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I think what's original in me would be that my particular combination of my family and my culture is my own and my own alone. You know, I'm my other my older siblings are also from my parents, but I'm from my parents and I've experienced my older siblings at their at the time in their life that I entered the world. So I'd say that I'm original in that sense, but to say that I'm completely uh, completely um, independent of any origin, um, independent of any uh, any background. Um, I mean, no, obviously not to me anyways, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Does that answer the question? Mm -hmm. I think that, um, that all of us are formed by those things that you mentioned. Um, and that when you combined all these things that it creates something original for me personally, I have a philosophy that there's basically three ologies that we live by psychology, astrology, and biology. Um, and that all those things create us into who we are. And way too often I think we get pushed into this idea that we're just one. You know, We're totally ruled by biology, which I don't believe. And then, or we're totally ruled by psychology. It's like, well, yeah, but biology plays a part. Mm -hmm. Or some people feel that we're totally ruled by, you know, astrology. It's like, well, yeah, but psychology and biology also play a part. And I think it's all those three that create the personality, the original part about us, that there is something original, um, but I think that is a product of all those different ologies. Nature versus nurture. Um, I would, I'm a pretty big believer that environment is a really big factor. So I have traits within myself. I think I have certain tendencies that would be there no matter what. Um, I do think that I have uh, a certain personality that would be there. Mm -hmm. I do think that I, or, or maybe a better way to say that is a certain um, tendency towards certain moods or uh, there's a, but I think that a lot of, so much of who I am, I think has been shaped by the family that I grew up in. Um, and of course, and the culture that I grew up in. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that I, um, I wonder, if I didn't grow up in that family, even something like veganism, which I just said is really important to me, mm -hmm. I could easily see myself. Um, I don't know if I'd be who I am today. I don't think I would. I don't think I'd be. I think that I, um, some of the traits about myself that aren't always so great that I try to minimize and, and be aware of are things like, um, like I can definitely be self-centered and I can definitely have a smaller view sometimes and I think that um, part of the one of the wonderful things about my family is that um, some empathy and compassion were really strongly uh, focused on and the idea that um, there's a big world out there and I think having growing up with that and hearing that on every level for so long I think made a real difference um, to to think I think you have to train your mind to think differently I don't think you come out People say kids come out compassionate and amazing and perfect and unspoiled and then the world spoils them. And I don't believe that at all because I think that humans are just like any other animal and animals come out in certain ways to survive. And I don't think that um, we come out perfect. Mm -hmm. And so I think that we have amazing abilities to be more than just um, those basic need to survive that need to acquire I, I don't I think we can be more than that but I I'm inclined to say that's something you learn I don't think that's at least partially I don't think that um I think if I grew up in a really in a really challenging environment and I grown up without a lot of the privileges that I have just by having food and water and not worrying that my parents were going to try to hit me or anything like that I think that that um definitely shaped who I am so I would lean more towards um, but I don't think I was completely molded because I think there's definitely, if you look at, you know, siblings, even though that's different too, yeah. drastic differences. Yeah. I think 
you know, the nature versus nurture debate. Yeah. I do think we do have, like, uh, something individual in us. I think nurture has a big, big role, though. I think, I don't believe that anybody's born evil, but I have, you know, just reading about the rest of the world or seeing the rest of the world and knowing that people can do such awful things, I think that was they are able to do that because of their experiences mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and their own filters uh, allowing them to feel that that's okay mm -hmm. um, or that they have to or something. Uh, but, but I do think that, that there is, people are born individual. Well, I do believe in the idea of a soul or spirit. Um, I also think there's a very strong desire to be special mm -hmm. in encounter. Just about everybody thinks they're special for one reason or another. Mm -hmm. um, I like to consider it as um, I don't really think any of us are in the big scheme of things any more special than anybody else no matter how we like to think that um, but I rather than looking at that as, as a sad thing I like to look at it as there's just so much beauty there's so much like we're grains of sand on the beach right and um, you know, we're all part of this, this energy, this universe that's going on. Um, and when you look at the beach, all the grains of sand look very similar. But if you actually pick up a handful or, you know, a, a drop, you know, just like a teeny teaspoon worth of sand and started looking at it under the microscope, you'd see that while there was a lot similar, each one would have its own little differences. So, um... I don't think I have the objectivity, and I don't know enough about other people to say what might truly be unique in me, mm -hmm. right? Like, how could you without, like, if, if you didn't know on a deep level every other person, like, maybe there is somebody out there just like me. But I suspect that um, that in little ways, I you know, the way all these complex different aspects that make up a human being have been put together, that, that the whole picture might be fairly unique, a unique grain of sand on the beach.